In the not so distant past, society shunned people with mental health conditions. Some people believed that evil spirits or divine retribution were responsible for mental illness. Although this way of thinking has been extricated from society in much of the world, it still casts a long shadow. Liver cancer can be fatal, but experts are still working to understand how to best screen for and prevent liver cancer. Data from a recent study suggests that a diet high in processed fiber could increase some people's liver cancer risk. Testing for the level of bile acids could help identify people at risk of developing liver cancer who may need a lower intake of fiber. Eco-anxiety refers to a fear of environmental damage or ecological disaster. This sense of anxiety is largely based on the current and predicted future state of the environment and human-induced climate change. Anxiety around environmental issues may stem from the awareness of a rising risk of extreme weather events, losses of livelihood or housing, fears for future generations, and feelings of helplessness.
To understand how sharing affects a person's subjective and objective knowledge, the researchers allowed a group of students to read and share a range of news articles. The students then had to rate their subjective knowledge of each article before completing three multiple choice questions that assessed their objective knowledge. It's not easy to make a wind turbine blade. Conventional blades require a lot of labor. They are a sandwich composed of fiberglass, sheets of balsa wood and a chemical called an epoxy thermoset resin. A heat oven is required to give blades the proper shape, strength, smoothness and flexibility to catch the wind and turn the turbine. Once most animals reach adulthood, they stop growing. In contrast, even plants that are thousands of years old continue to grow new needles, add new wood, and produce cones and new flowers, almost as if parts of their bodies remained forever young. The secrets of plant growth are regions of tissue that can produce cells that later develop into specialized tissues.
The great advantage of early rising is the head start it gives us in our day's work. The early riser has done a large amount of hard work before other men even get out of the bed. In the early morning, the mind is fresh, and there are few sounds or other distractions. In many cases, the early riser also finds time to take some exercise in the fresh morning air. In the photo, the wildcat's huge paws are clamped onto the side of the white safari jeep in which Chapel was a passenger. Almost as tall as the jeep on her hind legs, she appears to be forcing her muzzle into the back window. Certain types of the methodology are more suitable for some research projects than others. For example, the use of questionnaires and surveys is more suitable for quantitative research, whereas interviews and focus groups are more often used for qualitative research purposes.
Three professors from Hamburg University's medical faculty traveled last month to Inchborg's sitting room in East Berlin to test her on the work she carried out in pre-war Germany. Domestication is an evolutionary rather than political development. They were more likely to survive and prosper in an alliance with humans than on their own. Humans provided the animals with food and protection, in exchange for which the animals provided the humans with their milk and eggs and yes their flesh. The problem begins with the alphabet itself. Building a spelling system for English using letters that come from Latin despite the two languages not sharing exactly the same set of sounds, is like building a playroom using an IKEA office set. In the Middle Ages, the design and use of flags were considered a means of identifying social status. 
Flags were, therefore, the symbols not of nations, but of the nobility. The design of each flag resembled that devices on the noble's coat of arms, and the size of the flags was an indication of how high the owner stood in the nobility. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. Credit unions are non-profit organizations that were imported to the United States from Germany in the early 1900s. They were regulated in 1934 by the Federal Credit Union Act, which limits membership to groups having a common bond of occupation or association. Groups from particular geographical areas also were eligible to join credit unions.
The asteroid that slammed into the moon 3.8 billion years ago creating the Imbrium Basin may have had a diameter of at least 150 miles, according to a new estimate. The work helps to explain the puzzling geological features on the moon's near side and has implications for understanding the evolution of the early solar system. Exhilarating, exhausting and intense. These are just some of the words used to describe doing an MBA. Everyone's experience of doing an MBA is, of course, different through denying that it's hard and demanding work whichever course you do. MBA is one of the fastest growing areas of studying in the UK so that must be a sustainable benefit against form in one pain. The situation is similar to a pregnant woman that has twin babies in her belly, says Avi Loeb of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He's proposing the idea in a paper that's been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters.
first discovered in 2007, fast radio bursts, continue to defy explanation. These cosmic chirps last a thousandth of a second. The characteristics of the radio pulses suggested that they came from galaxies billions of light years away. However, new works point to a much closer origin flaring star within our own galaxy.